welcome to day 13 of Vlogmas. This is not the 13th episode, but it is December 13th today. It's about 11.45. I am about to start getting lunch ready for the kids. We have not had an eventful morning, really, and the rest of the day is going to be pretty boring as well because we're not going anywhere. I don't have anything that I need to do except for Porter's schoolwork, which we will do during nap time. And yeah, this morning has just been pretty chill, starting some laundry, cleaning up the house a little bit. I didn't even get ready today because there's no point. I'm still in jammies and leggings. <laughs> and I plan to stay this way all day. So yeah, the baby slept amazing last night. She slept all night. She woke up a couple times, but she never cried. She just kind of made a couple noises and then went back to sleep. So that's such a blessing. And my sister-in-law is making dinner for us tonight, which is so helpful when you have a baby. <laughs> and yeah, that's we're really not doing much at all today. Just getting into our new routine and yeah. I am hoping to get some knitting done during nap time. And I'm really excited about that because my Christmas sweater is coming along. I'm now down to like the lace detail on the sleeves and it's looking really pretty. So I'm really excited about that and I'm almost positive I'll be able to finish it by Christmas so I can wear it. I'm so excited. So yeah, that's what we're up to today. Not a whole lot going on, but yeah, this will probably be another short-ish video just because I don't really have much to show and if I did show a lot it would be very repetitive so yeah I just remembered I have a package coming today and it's yarn I can't keep it because it's technically from my mother-in-law for Christmas but I picked it out so I will show it to you and half of the package so I ordered I ordered what will be from her and then I ordered something for myself too so <laughs> So when that gets here, I will probably take a trek down to the mailbox and open that up because I'm really excited to see it and I will definitely share. So I will talk to you again later. Hope you're having a good day so far and hopefully your day's not as boring as mine. Unless you like boring, which I kind of do. So yeah, anyways, talk to you later. dropped the ball today. It's now almost midnight and I didn't record anything past Porter's school today. So I'm just going to keep the footage from today and we'll add tomorrow's to it because it's like three minutes long. So <laughs> I'm very tired though so I'm gonna go to sleep and I'll see you guys tomorrow. We are on our way to drop off the baby for her visitation today. Uh, she'll be gone the whole day, so I'm gonna miss her. <laughs> I will take advantage of the free time and hopefully catch up on some laundry today <laughs> because it is piling up. And yeah, not that we're gonna have much free time. I mean, I'm still gonna have four kids with me. And we have a grocery pickup later on this morning. I feel like I can never get my mind focused enough to do a grocery pickup that will last us a whole week. <laughs> so it's always in little spurts, which hey. works out. So it's fine. What are you doing? Uh, hey. Yeah, yesterday time just hey. got away from me. And hey. yeah, I just forgot 
that I was supposed to be vlogging. <laughs> I'm sure you guys understand. But today I will try to do a bit better and we'll just combine the two days so we don't have a bunch of two second videos. <laughs> so yeah, we're on the road and when we get back home we'll have some breakfast and get the boys up. I just have Rosie with me because she shares a room with the baby so I can't go in and get the baby and not get her. <laughs> so it's just us girls and dad is at home with the boys. I think they're still sleeping though so uh, when we get Your back, we will wake them up. Oh, they're playing? You yeah. heard them playing? Yeah. They might be awake playing in their room. And then when we get home, we will have some breakfast and get the day started. We're back home, and I am going to start putting away all of this stuff. This is a gift basket that um, one of our local nonprofit organizations put together for us when we accepted our first placement. Uh, so... And this is super helpful for adjusting to this new season. So they got us a couple little outfits for her. Um, there's some snacks, tissues, more snacks for the kids, diapers, a little sippy. There's some laundry stuff, dish stuff, um, Ziploc bags, paper towels, Lysol wipes, and there was also a big stack of paper plates and paper bowls, which is already so useful because it's way less dishes. <laughs> so I'm going to get all this packed away and I've got lots of cleaning to do this morning. snake plant I've had it for years that was originally this one here and then this one started to grow out of the side and it's a little skinny it's oh but something has happened I'm well I know what's happened it has outgrown the pot because now there are two plants in one pot and this one's getting really wobbly so I think I'm going to separate them into two different pots they'll still be kind of small because that's all I have but I'm hoping that it will help because this one it feels like it's just gonna fall over and break off at any point. So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do real quick. So I was wrong about it being two separate plants. I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, it. The second one has just grown out of this first one, so I'm going to just cut the root and hope that they'll live separately. <laughs> okay, yeah, these pots are way too small. Uh, I thought they were bigger, but you know what? It'll work for now. I can get some bigger pots maybe this weekend. and. Also, I need more, I need to add some like fresh soil because this is so old. They could do with a little, a little help. So this will be fine for now. I'll water them and hopefully they'll last until this weekend.
Okay, yesterday I said that I was going to show you guys yarn that I ordered, and I did not do that. So I'm going to do that now. Uh, and like I said, some of it I don't get to keep yet until Christmas because it's technically a Christmas gift from my mother-in-law. So, I'll show you that one first because it's what I'm most excited about. I got seven balls of this. This is the Sheepius Terrazzo Felted Tweed Yarn. Um, it is... 70% recycled mulsing free wool and 30% recycled viscose. I'm so excited about this. I'm going to be making a cardigan. What's it called? I think it's called the Freesia cardigan. It has a lot of lace down it and oh it's so pretty. And I just thought this color was beautiful. Because I've, I've always wanted something that's feminine and pink but not like whoa that's pink you know <laughs> and this is the perfect baby pink color and then it has the specks in it which just kind of break up all of the pink so yeah this is a DK weight the colorway it doesn't say on here yes it does uh, it's Sassolino so quite a mouthful Sheepius Terrazzo in the color Sassolino <laughs> Very, very excited about that. And then what I got for myself is this Cascade Heritage, which is 75 merino wool, 25 nylon in this navy blue color. It looks so silky. You can kind of even see in this lighting. It's so silky looking. I'm sorry if you hear veggie tails in the background. Uh, I'm making lunch and lunchtime is when the kids get to watch TV and that's when I usually get to film a little chit chat so yeah and this is oh I just said 75 merino yeah and this is the color 5623 there was a name I do not remember but I got this and this is fingering weight to go along with two other colors to make myself a pair of color work fingerless mitts, which I will put a picture of over here. They're beautiful. And the other two colors I have, uh, these are just from my stash, are West Yorkshire Spinners Signature 4 Ply in Nutmeg, and another West Yorkshire Spinners 4 Ply, and I don't know what color it was, <laughs> is white. So, these are the colors I'm going to use. As soon as I finish Kendra's mittens, I'm starting mine because I'm so excited and it's starting to get pretty cold and I need some mittens. Lastly, I got two skeins of this Cloudborn Highland Superwash Sock Twist in the color Stone Heather. And I don't remember why I got these. It's possible that I got them with something in mind, but I don't remember. Maybe, actually, I might have been close to free shipping and these were on sale. And that's why I grabbed them just in a neutral color. I figured they, I could use them at some point in something. That's all I can think of because I don't have anything else planned. So, yeah. <laughs> But it'll be a nice thing to add to my stash in case I ever need, you know, just a neutral color to go with something else. So that's all I got. And I'm dying for Christmas so I can cast on that card again. Of course, I want to finish my Christmas sweater first and get some good work done on my shawls. Because I'm going to be starting another shawl with my Advent yarns. So yeah. So much knitting. So little time. Yeah, so we're gonna eat. I'm gonna get them down for a nap and hopefully relax and knit for a bit before it's time to go pick up baby girl. I've missed her so much today. I mean, I've only had her for two days and I just love her so much. She is so darling and I just love babies. I love babies. And Sammy is our last baby. We won't be having any more babies of our own. So as soon as they ask me, about a baby and I was like yes give her to me I want the babies <laughs> I think that's because that's the only 
like territory that I have been through many times repeatedly and I've learned every through every one of my kids what works with babies and so now I feel like that's my area that I do well because I'm in uncharted territory with my oldest and really I feel like as babies turn into kids even if you've done that age before they're all so different that it's all uncharted territory but babies for the most part are just easier for me like I know some people think babies are hard because they take a lot more time, but they can't talk back to you yet and like with attitude <laughs> and in her case, she's not mobile yet. So she's not into trouble all the time and they're just so smiley and sweet and they know no wrong in the world. So they're just so innocent and I just give me all the babies. <laughs> Anyways, I'm rambling. I'm going to go eat some lunch. I will check back in with you guys later because I do get to open another advent today. And yeah. So I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. is called pansies this is the little picture and this is the color we've got very beautiful there's some pale blues in there all shades of purple very very pretty and there's also huh, there's also a caramel popcorn flavored instant coffee from the brand Beanies. I've never heard of that before. I'm not a huge instant coffee person, so I mean, it's not saying much, but okay, it's manufactured in the UK. That makes sense. Um, yeah, I've never, I think the last time I had instant coffee was like 15 years ago when I was in high school and we didn't have a coffee pot at my dad's house and so I bought instant coffee and it was gross. <laughs> uh, there's nothing like fresh brewed coffee, but I will give this a shot. Caramel popcorn flavor. That's quite uh, interesting. But I was just about to go make myself a cup of caffeinated tea because I was up till midnight last night and I'm very tired and I just need something to hold me over through the day. Uh, but maybe I'll make this instead, assuming it's not decaf. I wouldn't think so. It doesn't say anything about that. Yeah, so I may try that. Uh, but I wanted to show you guys, I told you that um, my husband and I got this holiday tea sampler kit and it came in the mail. We've already tried a few but I just wanted to kind of show you what all's in here. So this is the box. This is Stash brand. And I'm just going to show you a few of the ones that I'm really excited to try. Ooh. So there's cranberry pomegranate. There is a maple apple cider. This was really good. My husband and I had this the other night. Um, it's rooibos, hibiscus, cinnamon, natural maple flavor, apple flavor and caramel. It was really good. There is Christmas morning, which is a black tea blend. That's really all it says. Should be good. Uh, decaf pumpkin spice. I think I'm going to have that one tonight. 
because today is another rainy, cozy day. I feel like we haven't seen the sun in forever. It came out for a second yesterday and it's gone again. Uh, cinnamon vanilla. I had that one the other night. It was really good. There's some Christmas in Paris in here, which is our favorite. <laughs> this is one I'm really excited to try, but I don't want to try it just yet. This one's called Christmas Eve. Cinnamon, spearmint, orange, vanilla, and clove. That sounds so good. And holiday chai. That's another one I'm really excited to try. I love a good chai latte. A good one. I've had some that are not good. I'm kind of picky about uh, chai lattes. But I'm excited to try that tea and make it into a latte. Oops. So yeah, I was going to make tea, but I guess now I'm going to make this instant coffee and fingers crossed it tastes good. <laughs> or I will end up making some tea. So I'm going to add this yarn to my little basket of advents, make this coffee, and then it's going to be time to get the kids up from nap time, and it'll be time to go get baby girl. I'm so excited. I've missed her so much. Uh, yeah, and then we are going, by we I mean me and the kids, because now my husband isn't feeling well, we're going to my brother-in-law's church tonight we used to go for a while on Wednesdays for a Bible study and we haven't been in a while because we've been doing foster classes during the week but now that those are done and we are kind of settled we're ready to get back into that routine so I'm going to take the kids tonight and that'll give John some time to rest too I'm pretty sure he has what I had last week was it what is today okay I guess it was last week and I'm still kind of dealing with it. I still have a like a little tiny tickle in my throat. But I'm pretty sure that's what he has. Just in case it's something different, I did drink an airborne vitamin C tablet because I cannot afford to get sick again. I am leading worship this week and I'm actually like the leader this week. I'm in charge of it, so I cannot be sick. So he better not get me sick. <laughs> I'm almost positive it's the same thing I had, though. He said his throat hurts and he just feels, like, kind of puny. And I said, yep, that's how I felt. But you got to come home from work and go downstairs to take a nap. I still had to, <laughs> I still had to take care of all the kids and just resume life as normal. You know, moms don't get sick days, but it's okay. Okay, so that's that. Let's go see if this coffee is good. church to go home hey. and this will be the end of the video. Would you guys like to say bye? Bye! Bye, bye mommy. Sammy and bye, the baby's baby here too. Sammy. She's bye, been so sweet since she got back. Um, yeah, thanks for watching and we'll thanks see you watching. tomorrow. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. <laughs>